Hello and welcome to another Indie Pixel tutorial brought to you by IndiePixel.com. My name is Kenny Lammers and I will be your instructor throughout this course. So in this course we are going to focus on creating reusable UI system. All right, so this is super, super valuable when you are constantly having to set up UIs over and over and over again. So the more games that you work on, the more apps you work on with Unity or whatever it is that you actually end up making with Unity 3D, you're always going to need some sort of UI. So what we're going to talk about in this course is how to set up a UI system, a set of scripts, basically, that is reusable across all your projects. So what are we going to actually look at? What are we actually going to do in this course? So the first thing we're going to do is, is talk about the UI structure. So by UI structure, I mean how do we set up the game objects inside of Unity? inside of the, the user interface itself. This will start to set a consistency or a precedence, basically, of how you go about setting up all of your UIs um, for all of your future projects, OK? Uh, we're then going to stub in the scripts for the UI system. Now, these scripts are highly reusable, and I've used them on many, many projects. And what I'm about to show you is the result of working on countless Unity projects and this system that I've developed and that I'm going to show you works super well and it allows you to set up UI super quick. All right, so after that, we're going to then fill in the logic. So after we stub in the scripts, we're going to actually fill in all the logic for the UI system. Okay, and then we are going to fill in the logic for the UI screens. All right, because we're going to basically divvy up the tasks between the UI system and the screens. All right, so a UI system basically includes a bunch of screens, okay, and a screen then takes care of all the elements, all the UI elements for its particular screen. So we we basically separate the current concerns between those two functionalities. Then we need to set up some screen animations, and I like to use the animator for the UI because it makes it real easy to add new animations or to update animations really quick. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a basic animator with animations that you can reuse over and over and over again. All right, so we're going to cover that. And then finally, I'm going to show you how you can actually start to create new screen types with uh, the UI screen class that we create. Okay, And this is awesome because you'll be able to inherit functionality from the scripts that we create and create new screens without having to recode a whole UI system, basically. So it's really, really powerful, and it makes the, the coding of UI is super quick. All right, and then finally, we are going to create a menu system that allows us to automate a little bit of the setup of a UI system. OK, so we're going to look at ways in which we can just set up the UI structure, ways in which we add new screens, so on and so forth. There's a lot of things you could do, a lot of tools you could write. But in this particular course, we're going to walk through a couple tools that will make your life a lot easier uh, for the setup. So without further ado, let's take a look at the final result of what we're going to make, just so you get an idea of what you're going to get by watching this course. OK, so let's flip over to Unity and take a look. All right, so let's take a look at what we're actually going to build here in this particular course. So we're going to learn how to set up a nice UI structure. All right, so where we have a UI system, and then we have screens. Uh, we're going to learn how to set up animations for all these screens. All right, so if we go to go to this register screen. All right, so we've got these animations that we're going to set up. All right, uh, we're going to learn how to use events. We're going to learn how to automatically apply other components to our screens. Uh, we're going to do a ton of stuff where we learn how to switch between screens. We're going to set up automatic fading for our UI. So when you're done with this whole course, you're going to have this very, very well-rounded concept of how to set up a reusable UI system. All right. Uh, you're also going to get all the assets from this particular project. So you'll have the code. But I do highly recommend walking through the course so you get an understanding of how all the code works um, so you can easily create your own types of screens and extend the code and make it make the system more robust. This is really just like that starting point, that utmost basic version of a UI system. OK, so this is what we're going to make throughout this course. So let's get started. <laughs> 